My name is Joseph Carter, and I am the Mink Man. When I was a senior in high school, I started learning about the American mink. I was told that mink were horrible, vicious little animals who were impossible to tame. Challenge accepted. I've been in love with mink ever since. I get mink from fur farms and give them a new life. In this new life, my mink live as naturally as possible, even hunting for their dinner the way a wild mink would. So come join me on my adventures as we learn more about this intense little predator, the amazing American mink. Definitely one here. Okay, come on, pups. I didn't see your girl. Did you find him? Where's the musky? Oh, good girl. Oh, there's a good dog. Oh, good girl. Oh, there's a good ball. Oh, good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Good dog. Yeah. Okay, so we're doing a little pest control today along this canal. Uh, the muskrats have been digging in the bank as usual, causing erosion and flood problems. And uh, the canal companies paid me to come out and uh, hired me to do the job to keep these canals clean. So, got Mr. Midnight here. We're, the dogs have indicated that there's something here. So we're gonna put the mink down and see what we can catch. Good girl! Good girl! Good dog! Good dog! Good girl! Good here! Good dog! Good dog! Good girl, Shirini! You got a muskie! Good girl! We found a spot full of muskrat sign, so we released Midnight to let him search for muskrats. Midnight is a few years old and a very dependable hunter, but for some reason we struggled to find anything, despite all of the visual signs that suggested multiple muskrats were living in the area. So finally we pulled the dogs out and asked them where the muskrats were. They immediately headed upstream to a spot I never thought to check and indicated there were muskrats there. Double back. Where is he in? I think he doubled back. I got two. Oh, you got both of them. Okay, that was both of them. I think it was just those two. Awesome. That's what I thought. I was like, dude, how could that be one muskrat, let alone zero? There was so much sign. I, re I feel like there's a good chance there's another. So let's go get a separate, a different meat. Cause he's kind of wound up. Let's try again. You went into the 
pipe? Oh, he's trying to. Oh, crap. He's really close to it, and he's just, I feel like he's just gonna run around the trap. Okay, okay. thank you. I knew there was more than two. It's like there's gotta be a couple. He's right there. Okay, let's see if we can spook him into my net. Oh, yes, he's going back. Going in the hole, okay. He doesn't go in there. Oh, oh, I'll stay far away. Haha, I knew there was more than two. Already spot. They're hot and fresh for you. We'll find them. There he comes. He's gonna get nailed. You screw around like that, spot will get you, buddy. There's too much crap at the bottom. Yeah, he's just hiding in there. Can't get a clean swing. There's this rock. Oh, there he is! Oh, oh. He's almost gone right there. Yeah, he wants me. Oh, oh, oh. Is that him? There's yeah. something spot. There's too much crap at the bottom to get a clean swipe. Oh, he's right here. Sneaky boy. Learned something today. It's not just uh, panda bears eating pit, eating bamboo. The muskrats apparently like it. You see this was clearly chewed off and it was down in the water where the muskrats would have hauled it. And if you look right up there, you can see all the spots where they've been cutting down the bamboo shoots. So kind of cool. Looks like we've got some muskrats who like Chinese food. Can't say I blame them. <laughs> so we were driving along looking for muskrat holes and I physically saw this muskrat swimming down the canal and go right in this hole. So we know there's something here. The question is how many? Is it just a single or do we got a few? I don't know. I thought they were up in the bushes. Yeah, he was running along this path. I think the mink followed him. Yeah, the mink's got him now. The mink's got him by the back. He's getting out of the head now. Should've grabbed my little grabbers. Make sure you can see it. Make sure the lighting's good enough to see. Dang it. Oh, there's my scrap. Oh. Got it. Good job, big guy. Little guy. Good job, Midnight. Good job. Good job, Midnight. I'm bringing you your box, okay? I just don't want you to pull it up there and it go to waste. Here you go, Midnight. Look, here's your box. Oh, now you're interested in going forward, huh? Here you go, put it in your box. There you go, good boy. Good boy in the box, that's a good job. Let's make sure we don't get your tail there. Good job, Midnight. I think there's one right here. I'm gonna give it a try. You found one already? No, this is a mink. We put the mink down inside the hole and it chases out the muskrat or catches it, whichever happens first. Oh wow, a mink? Yep, and if it gets away from the mink, then we net it. Oh. So 
a lot quicker than trapping. What does the mink look like? Uh, kind of like a like a otter cross with a weasel. <laughs> They're long and skinny. Yeah, they're black, usually black or brown, and they're long and skinny. He's out running around now. Thank you so much. He he wouldn't hurt you unless you reach. Oh, there goes one right now. Got it. No, legally in Utah you can't do that. We use it to feed the mink. Because that's what they eat in nature is, thank you sir, is muskrat. So we use it as food for the mink. Oh, so you caught a muskrat, not a mink. Yeah, the mink chased it out. So this little guy right here, he was trying to get away from the mink who's in his hole right now. Oh, wow. And then when he come out, I netted him and the mink's in there right now. He might have one or he might be looking for it. I don't know. Yeah. If he takes a while coming out, then I bet you he caught one in there. Does he eat it? Um, so I've taught him not to eat it because otherwise I'd have to sit and wait for him. Oh. So when they catch one, usually they'll just kill it and then I'll call them back. Nothing. Good job, sir. <laughs> Keep going, huh? Good job, Mr. Spot. Good job. Let's get you a chunk of meat here. Let's do a trade. You want to do a trade? Let's do a trade. Look here. Here, look. Here. Here you go. Here, look. Spot. Spot here. There you go. Good job. Pretty cool. He just found that hiding in the grass. That's a pretty cool. Old Spot's a good mink, man. He's a good mink, Mr. Spot. Definitely lick their lips more often after they've killed something and when they've been licking their blood. Oh, there it is, right there. You got it. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. <laughs> oh, that makes my day. He brought it. Up. I'm pretty confident he brought it up. Little oh, stinker. I knew that lick looked really suspicious. Let's see if I can do this without. Go to 
the right and then straight. Go right a little bit more. Hey, can you see it? I can see it. Okay. Just trying not to bump the camera. <laughs> Good old Saber. He not only caught it, he brought it to the entrance. I am super proud of him. This is twice now that without much encouragement, he brought it up. And this time he didn't bring it all the way, but that's freaking good enough. It was right at the entrance. Now that just makes my night. Holy crap, what a great one to end on. Good job, Saber man. You're a good mink, Mr. Saber. You're a good mink. Yes, you are. Good job. Good job, good job. Oh, that's awesome. Let's go home. So what a great day today. We got a total of 10 muskrats between three different mink. Awesome job by every mink involved. Every mink caught at least one muskrat. Um, Saber caught one, Midnight caught one, and Spot taught a, caught a total of three. So five muskrats by the mink, one by the dog, and the other four by me. So pretty amazing stuff. That's an awesome day, 10 muskrats. And this canal, they're going to be super thrilled to hear that we caught that many and that we're, uh, we're helping to decrease the erosion problems that are going on in the canal. So thanks for watching guys. We'll show you more next time.